Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I am Muhammad Fikri bin Zaini uh, num- Matches number 1910871 InsyaAllah uh, Today our group will present about autism uh, I will be a first presenter And I will present about con- introduction and conclusion And here is my teammate Cik Daniel Irfan Muhammad Hazim Ali and Wazirul Arif Okay, uh, first of all, uh, we need to know what is autism. Uh, basically, there is no specific definition of autism. Uh, Alright, according to the Atheist Bible, said that autism is the rejection of belief in the supernatural. While according uh, the Oxford Advanced Learner Dictionary, defined autism as the lack of belief. Uh, autism in Arabic is Al-Ilhad according to Ibn Al-Faris uh, who is Muslim scholar said that Lam Ha and Dal refer to deviating from straight view uh, Al-Ilhad uh, in a term of terminology is the deny of existing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a supreme creator so, what we can conclude here is that uh, Atheism is a rejection of the belief that God exists. So, we can see that uh, Atheism is a very contradiction with, with the policy of Islamic faith based on monotheism. Alright, for your information, our presentation is based on Debate, vid- uh, debate video titled Islam and Atheism, which is more reasonable. Okay, I will uh, give you explanation who is the who is representing Muslim debater and who is representing atheist debater. Okay, Muslim debater is Hamza Adras Torsis. He is a Muslim and he is student of Islamic talk and he also a lecturer and researcher. Res- research at the Academy of Islam research for education while well, at this debate uh, is professor Lawrence Krauss he is a founding professor of the school of earth and space discovery so i will i will pass to the next presenter who will give an explanation about islam argue in this video all right, thank you. Okay, now we continue on Islam argument by Hamza Totis. My name was Jura Arif bin Sharifuddin. My metric number 18264 and 03. So we're going to the next slide, which is the main point that has been said by Hamza Totis in this video. So let's check it out. So we're going to talk about the sixth point about God. Uh, in that video, Hamza Totis said that the uncreated character must have this six point. So, the first point is he must be eternal. So, what mean of eternal? Eternal means lasting or existing forever without dying. So, the uncreated creator also can be the immortal. So, he not going to die forever. The second point is transcendent. He must be a transcendence. What meaning of transcendence? Transcendence means beyond or above the range of normal or physical human experience. It's point that uh, the uncreated creator can think more than a human, including the consequences and the hikmah. Uh, so Allah can uh, think about the consequences and the hikmah from uh, any event that has been held in this world. So, uh, for example, Allah can do anything perfectly without having any weaknesses, uh, such as He can make a human that has a function to worship for Him and life uh, and live uh, like always, like always without having any problem. And sometimes our body system going to work well without having any problem, and no one in this world can do that. So. This point shows that Allah is can be transcendence. So the third point is will. But 
The third point and the fourth point have been a relationship, which is will and the powerful. So, will and powerful. Uh, so it, it it has a relation. So, powerful is when uh, we want a desire or something, he will do it just like that. Uh, for example, Allah can do anything uh, in a second. Uh, in Surah Al Yasin, verse eighty two, uh, he said that is a arada shay an ayakul lahukum fayakun. It means that when he attend a thing, so his command is B. So it is. So he can the thing can be built or can be made in a second. So all Muslim uh, should believe that it must believe that. Allah has the power to do anything in this world, sky, space, or everything, because Allah is so powerful. So the next point is, He must be knowing everything. For example, Allah going, Allah will going to know about our future, and who will, uh, who will we marry? Who, uh, who that person is going to help us in future, and. What we gonna do on the next move, or why we are going to on our vacation? That's all thing Allah has been knowing. So Allah also can know about our place in the afterlife. So lastly, He must be one. For Muslim, we should believe in that. Um, there is no God beside the Almighty Allah. So we need to believe in. So we need to believe in that. Until we die, to show our loyalty to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So we going to the next slide, which is talk about the uniqueness uh, of the Quran. So I'm gonna talk about uniqueness and miracle of Quran. So what meaning of miracle? Miracle is an event outside the power of the natural law. So how can it be related to a Quran? The first point is the language. The language had no relationship with Arabic language. Even though we know that the Quran has been used Arabic language as the language to recite, but the meaning of it, it cannot be tra uh, direct translate. So, this uh, Quran and uh, nothing can be compared because no one in this world can make book just like Quran, because the meaning and the this the verse is made from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, which is the uncreated Creator, and that have been taught. Uh, from uh, from the last vid uh, last slide. So we going to next point, which is Islam, has shaped people by limiting the tendency by following a few rules. So Hamzah Tati said uh, this point in the last video because he want to know that the rule that has been made by Allah is to make our life become easier and become uh, become comfortable to doing anything in this world. So, uh, the play uh, of the Quran play a vital role in our society because the Quran is the source to think about question in life and man. Because I think Quran play a role like a guidance uh, by teaching us uh, where is right or how to do. I think Quran play a role like a guidance to us because it will tell us about the right and the wrong in our life. So that's all for me. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. My name is Muhammad Hazim Ali and today I'll continue our group presentation with the atheism argument based on the big debate uh, Islam or atheism which makes more sense. InshaAllah. Okay, now let's continue on what the atheist argues on. Okay, first of all, atheism, atheism arguments always about the existence and the universe. From the debate, we can clearly see how atheism answers the question that many people around the globe are wondering, asking uh, about it. Uh, such as, why is the universe exist? Why is there something rather than nothing? And what is the origin of the universe? Is it created by God? Or it is just there like that just a magic like magic just there okay uh for this question uh the grandfather of neo atheism 
uh, Bertrand Russell claims that universe is just there and that's all and it is a brute fact uh, we have the same claim uh, like uh, Bertrand Russell say in Islamic history as early as the 8th century we have a philosophical naturalist known as Adhariya they hold the same belief as Bertrand Russell they said that the universe is just there and that's all okay uh, the implication uh, because of this uh, two uh, group uh, uh, implication of this historical opinion by these two group uh, is that the universe is eternal and the universe having infinite past resulting in that there are no God creating it because it has been there for as long as it there we know that having infinite past meaning having no boundary or limit in time so the universe uh, they say that universe having no limit in time and having no boundaries uh, in time therefore we therefore with this question we will come up with another question uh, the law of causality and the the time itself who created the time is the time created or how uh, can time exist? Okay. Uh, back to the topic. Uh, Professor Krauss also said uh, in the debate uh, that atheism is not a belief system like other religion and myths. But he said atheism is a common sense according to normal human being reasoning uh, using local reason logical reasoning. He also stressed that uh, the debate title which put Islam in it uh, want to show uh, that Islam is special uh, actually not he said that Islam is, is like another religion like other religion uh, Islam has been there and will perish also like other religion he also made the claim about the concept of causality uh, he said uh, that uh, first of all, we need to understand what is concept of causality. Concept of causality uh, means uh, something is influenced by uh, one event or process, state or object contributing to the production of another event are not applied to the universe. He said that this concept of causality does not apply to the universe. Even though he said that the universe does have a beginning, but however, he tried to deny it by using the laws of physics. He said uh, that at the beginning of the universe creation, time doesn't exist because it also not yet created. Time uh, doesn't exist because it also not yet created. Thus, the sense of the sense of cause does not make any sense for the creation of the universe. Uh, I give you a simple example. We can see this clearly with the question of chicken and egg. Uh, which come first? Uh, this question does not make any sense. Uh, because uh, if uh, time does not make any sense. Because when there isn't any time, time wasn't created. Therefore, we can't deduce which come first. Moreover, Professor Lawrence Cross said that uh, the Quran, uh, the Quran, our revelation in Islam is just a normal literature, a document created by someone claim to be a prophet. He said that even him can create the same verse uh, like the Quran using just Google Translate and using his computer that uh, didn't even speak in Arabic. So that's all uh, on what the atheism argues on uh, based on the debate that uh, uh, title Islam and Atheism which makes more sense. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Cik Daniel Irfan bin Cik Badru Hisham. Matrix number Y916505. Okay, now we will discuss on evaluating the arguments. We will evaluate which one is more rational, either Muslim's argument or the atheist argument. So now I have classified it into two columns, which is on the left is 
Muslims argument by Hamza Zurdis and on the right is atheist arguments by Professor Lawrence Krauss. Okay. The Muslims arguments gives some deductive arguments that have certainty while the atheist arguments mostly use inductive arguments that do not assure the something's certainty. Okay. Why we say it as inductive arguments because uh, mostly scientific arguments and the arguments based on the theory we classify it as inductive arguments. So we know that inductive arguments cannot take over the deductive arguments. Okay, Hamza Zobris, the Muslim debater in this video, uh, use, uh, define all the definitions precisely. And he also includes complete citations and delivered good examples that come with understandable examples. While the professor Lord grounds the atheist debater, mostly committed fallacies in his arguments and also personally attack uh, Hamza Zurdis and he also used complex structure word that make people hard to understand the term this make the audience confused either which one argument is more rational either Muslims or the atheist argument okay so now we will move to the question yes to the question which is which one is more rational either Muslims arguments or the atheist arguments okay so now Islam's argument more rational why because the consistency in the arguments and nothing contradict with it this is in the islam's argument okay so why we say that atheism's arguments or the atheist arguments have contradict okay so now first we will look to the first point which is about nothing is something okay now if we understand clearly nothing is something so this is totally contrary because nothing cannot be something, right? Okay, they claim about the concept of causality are not applied in, to the universe. So this argument does not make any sense. Why? Okay, so how can universe can be created by itself without any cause that create it? Or in other terms, without any creator that create it? How can? Okay, so this reminds me about the story of Imam Abu Hanifa with philosophers who were skeptical about the existence of God. Okay, so they debate about it. So before the discussion start, um, the discussion about the establishment of one creator, so Imam Abu Hanifa said to them, Tell me, before we speak on this matter, about sheep on the Trigus River moving by itself and fill with food, goods, and other materials, then it goes back by itself. Then anchors itself, and unlocks itself, and continues to do all of this without anyone to manage it. So they said, this could never be happened. So Imam Abu Nifa said, if it's impossible for a sheep, then how it is possible for the entire world in all of its wasteness so we can see if it's impossible for a small ship so how can it be applied to the big universe to the universe that has multiple universe that have multiple planets in it multiple living things in it so how this is possible without any creator so Imam Abu Hanifa used the logical reasoning to make us think that which one is more rational right okay so the atheist argument also about the uh, Quran is just a normal literature is totally irrational. Why? Because if we if it just a normal literature, so why there is no single human being can create a surah in the Quran, even the shortest surah, Surah Al Kautha, there is no one can create it. Why? They cannot create by just imitate the Quran. So if it just a normal literature, so how can this cannot be happened. So yes, this is among the miracle of Quran. So among the miracle of Quran is in its language, meaning, and also the context in the Quran Karim. By my presentation, so you can see now that Islam's arguments or Islam's is more rational than the atheist arguments. So we should believe on Islam and defend more our Islam faith in this part. All right. In conclusion. Uh, based on what Wazir, Hazim, and Chadan present, we can say that Islam is more reasonable. 
in short islam is a comprehensive religion which teach us in all aspects uh, starting from waking up until we go back to sleep okay the important for us as a muslim is we need to we need to strengthen our faith and study about at this argument and how to encounter them because if we don't have knowledge and strong faith we will be confused if questioned by atheism and lastly is we need to always reflect uh, on our main sources uh, which is our quran and a sunnah and do not misinterpret its content in hadith sallallahu alaihi wasallam an malik anna rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam qala taraktu fikum amrain lan tadillu ma tamaqsaktum bihima kitabullah wa sunnat an-nabi uh, if we keep to al quran and al sunnah uh, we will not lost yeah that's all from us wabillahi taufiq wa hidayah wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh